Putting scissor sweep, which is white to black, we're always going to use it. And it doesn't matter whether you start from butterfly or from full guard. Grab the same side. I don't like grabbing cross collar because immediately it makes him defend and starts pulling his hand down. He's afraid of the choke. So now he's going to be defending something he doesn't even know is happening. I don't want to do that. So I grab the same side. Oh. Grab the hand here or here, it doesn't matter. As I pull him to myself, I want to pull him on top and I want to put my knee in his chin. I keep my hand over the top of the leg. What that does, it stops him from being able to smash my knee. Because in order for him to do, once he does that, this is over. So I'm here, I'm here, and when he goes to try and smash my knee, it buys me some time. It actually also helps me, because as he's going to smash my knee, he's putting his weight on top of me, which is what I want. I want to generate this forward motion. And if you guys look, my foot is here and here on his hip. That stops his hip from moving, which is what I want. I don't want, to want his hip to move. As I drop this leg, I want to mitigate the risk of him stepping over. I drop this and he steps over it. Obviously, I don't have it. So I want to time this thing. I want to be pulling him. I want to be pushing him. I want to be working. So that I go right to that. And that can leave me the arm or I could set up a whole bunch of different things. But one last time, the scissor sweep, which you can do from so many different places here. You're going to always use this. Never, ever forget scissor sweep here to here. Control the hips, pull him on top, drop the leg, out scramble him to the top. Awesome.